Anger and frustration spill into the streets of downtown Columbus for a fifth straight day. People want real change after George Floyd died while in police custody. Thank you, everybody, for joining us here at NBC4 at 5 o'clock. I'm Darlene Hill. And I'm Brad Johansson. Happening now, Columbus City Council now set to vote on declaring racism as a public health crisis. City looking to start to peel back the layers of racism. This is the first step, acknowledging it. Sean Lanier at the Watch 4 Alert desk with what this would mean for the city now, Sean. Yeah, Brad and Darlene, the city leaders say the protest is happening right now and has been for the past couple of days. It's not the reason for this declaration. They say this goes back to the reports such as the disparity report they were working on in several areas where they believe race was a factor. For the last couple of years, the city has addressed issues of infant mortality, access to fresh produce and health care, and realized African Americans are always disproportionately impacted in those areas and more because of the policies of the past. Those policies force African-Americans to live in certain places or have limited access to those resources. With this declaration, the city can define what racism is and see in what areas, what specific areas, they can make change. Mayor Andrew Ginther says the city knew this was an issue before COVID-19 and before the protests began uh, because of the unfair treatment of the death of the black men around the country, adding that the work has been started, but they have to do more and do better. We know implicit bias exists in every single one of us, all of us. It's important to acknowledge that. Even more important to do something about it and get the training that we all need and what I've required of all city employees, including the division of police. All of us have bias. We need to acknowledge it exists and build the tools and muscle memory and strength to deal with them. And right now, City Council, they are in session voting on this measure right now. I spoke one-on-one -on -one with Councilwoman Priscilla Tyson, who says this declaration will not change hundreds of years of racism, but believes we have to start somewhere and at some point. Darlene. All right, Sean, thank you so much.